We are currently talking about the truth of identification. What Paul teaches us in Romans chapter 6 is that we were crucified with Christ, we were buried with Christ, we were resurrected with Christ, and then we also find in other places in Scripture that we were raised up with Christ, that is when Christ ascended, we ascended, and we are seated together with Christ. Paul also tells us in Romans chapter 6, and we read this in verses uh, 3, 4, and 5, that we have been raised up with him. And he tells us specifically that we have been raised to walk in newness of life. This is Romans chapter 6 and verse 4. He said, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So when Christ was resurrected, we were resurrected. And that is telling us that God has brought us in to a brand new life, a newness of life, a new way of living. Not only have we been resurrected with Jesus, the Bible also says that we were raised up together with him. That means when Christ ascended, you and I ascended. To be raised up together with Christ means I've been taken out of the patterns and the systems of this world. That means I am you and I, as a new creation, we do not pattern ourselves. We are not controlled and influenced by the ways and the systems of this world. So he says, set your affection on things about, because your life is in God. It's hidden in God. Our life is not under the influence of the world, because we've been taken out of that. Spiritually speaking, we've been taken out, we've ascended, we've been taken out of the what is in the world. Back there in Ephesians chapter 2 uh, and uh, verse 6, he also tells us uh, we've been raised up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places. So when Christ was exalted and seated at the right hand of the Father, he says we were made to sit together. So we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. What does that mean? It means we are in a place of spiritual authority and dominion. And you as a believer need to understand that. That's your rightful place in Christ. You are in a place of authority and dominion. And you can cause that authority and dominion to bear upon earthly life. God didn't put you there just for no purpose. The reason he has put us in Christ there is we can extend that authority and dominion here on earth. So let's put all of this together. We are crucified with Him. The power of sin is broken. We are buried with Him. The old life no longer controls us. We have been resurrected with Him. We have given a new way of living, a new way to live. We are raised up with Him. The systems of this world of evil and rebellion cannot control us or dominate us. We are seated with Him. We are in a place of authority and dominion, a place of spiritual authority that we can exert here on earth. Now, how do we, what do we do with this truth? How do we live out of it? I'm going to touch on some of the things the Apostle Paul brings out for us in Romans 6. There are three key things that Paul teaches us. And I alluded to some of this last time, but I want to emphasize that help us understand it. First of all, he says in Romans chapter 6, verse 6, he says, knowing this. So we must know the truth. He says, I want you to know, know this. Our old man was crucified. And then he talks about all the other things. So the first thing as a believer is you must know that you were crucified with Christ. That means the power of sin over you has been broken. You were buried. The old has no more claim on you. You've been resurrected with Jesus. That means you have a new way of life. And you say, God, I want to live this new life that I have in Jesus. It's the Zoe life of God. I want to live in the Zoe life of God. You've been raised up with Christ. That means you've been taken out of the systems of this world. The systems of evil and rebellion don't have to dominate you. And you've been seated with Christ. You've been put in a place of authority and dominion. Secondly, Paul says, I want you to reckon it to be so. To reckon means to count as a fact. That means this is a fact, and I want you 
to consider it as a fact. And the third thing he says is, and he repeats this many times in verse 13, he says, present yourself. Or the King James would say, yield yourself as an instrument to God, rather than yielding yourself to anything of this world. So that's the third way we live out of this truth. And so this, in essence, if I want to put it in a very concise way, at the essence of Romans chapter 6 and the truth of identification.